Hey there everybody, I hope anything here is alright with you and anything else, even if I'm sorry for not being on online for a while and yeah, I have been busy and sometimes I have laying few videos as I think it's alright in my opinion, whether you maybe like it or dislike it is up to you, it doesn't matter. However, I'm here to discuss about two things when it comes to two clips. Uh, one from Think Red Pill, a channel about every man who literally could get updated about the modern world we're living in, about women and so on, with pissing me off. On other hands, because this is not about something equal. This is about how men think and what kind of thing they could literally justify and so on. What is right and wrong for them is an example. Someone who can judge about someone's body and so on. Or otherwise get the hell out of those women they think is toxic and not okay because of their own body looks or their temper or whatever without to think and re regardless about how the hell can you think like that without to recognize your own cost for example the insultation about women's body or the personality or what kind of thing she have uh, coming across now who maybe are more possible yet there is st still people who literally can judge about a majority of women because whatever they see it doesn't matter what they pick they take what exactly seems to be alright but it's not which is not okay so, I'm going to start with a channel who call itself uh, uh, Think Red Pill. One clip, as I have com coming in cross, and my reaction will be on it. So we will see if I ever going to pause it and make that reaction, or perhaps we could allow it to just walk and then I can comment my own reaction to the video. We we'll see about that. I made a video about people being overweight are not necessarily beautiful and people got triggered and some people were saying where are the facts, what's your source? And at first I just thought it was common sense. I thought it was just something that people would just obesity is unhealthy which is ultimately bad. I just thought it was something that people know. So I guess it's, since people don't, I wanted to bring the tickets, bring the receipts, show y'all why I think what I think. And it's pretty simple. Any Google search, any search that you do, you can literally see that obesity is unhealthy. You can see that obesity leads to what? Strokes, cancer, heart disease. It's unhealthy. I don't know why people think it's so like debatable but it's really not it's like if you're overweight or obese then not only can you do something about it but being overweight and obese is unhealthy which is inevitably inevitably dangerous and bad and we shouldn't be promoting it saying oh it's okay be do what you want be who you are body positive whatever no if somebody is overweight we should be so being obese is wrong, what? What the hell is wrong with you, pal? Is it wrong to be overweight just because what the scientists may have saying? I can go with the result whatever the scientist is saying. But here's the thing. Being obese doesn't mean you actually locating a lot of disease and so on. No. It doesn't matter what kind of body type you have. Everything have with whatever you put in your mouth and whatever 
you do on the days. For example, perhaps slacking all the time is maybe uh, something who could attract the deceased. But otherwise, when you're literally working out, no matter where you're going and where you go, you can still manage to have a healthy life whether you are a plus side person or not. What could be difficult is how the person lives, depending what exactly that person doing on the days. There are several women and men who are out there and working, have fun or running and so on. So I don't know exactly what your reaction about someone be obese. Or are you maybe just targeting women? Is that what you're doing? In this case, it's not funny, man. I don't know exactly what your reaction on it is all right, but it's not. It's too kinky for my case. Meaning you literally think that everybody just relaxing and looking ugly on other hands. Besides, should that be ugly just because someone is big? What the hell, man? What the hell are you thinking? It's not like everybody could be just a pin up. We're living in a society full of stress and all of it. And all those stupid in, um, industry who are telling people how to look and how to dress and so on exist. That's a true prison. Again, it doesn't matter if you're a male or female. Everybody has something inside. And we should never bothering about how we look and how we clothe or whatever. It's saying, oh, it's okay, be do what you want, be who you are, body positive, whatever. No. If somebody is overweight, we should be, call it fat shaming, call it whatever you want. It's like, women shame all the time. It's like, men hold, them, hold themselves accountable. Women should also hold themselves accountable. If a man is fat, other men tell them, hey, you're a fat ass, or get your shit together, hit the room, whatever. If a woman is fat, they, they're passive about it. They're, oh, girl we should hit the whatever but if you saying that being fat is okay or well not necessarily fat but being unhealthy which is overweight and obese then i don't know what to tell you because at the end of the day then you're just in your feelings and no matter science no matter facts no matter sources is going to just prove you otherwise and there's not really much i can do about that but Y'all wanted the stats? And here are the stats. And again with that. I mean, for God's sake. Stop saying what exactly all this kind of obese leading to this and that. Again, it doesn't matter what size you are. So long you're eating healthy is another thing. But that doesn't mean just because you don't eat incorrect, uh, you're going to be fat. And that's why anything going to be unhealthy. Look, it doesn't matter if you are eating a lot. It doesn't matter. What matters is what exactly you're putting on your mouth every day. For example... You can't always thinking that you can drink Coca-Cola every day and think you can live healthy life, whether you are a plus size or a thin man. Because there is a lot of shit you have to take care of. Whether what? What exactly is the biggest target? Well, first of all, your teeth. Then... It will be your body, of course, who's going to get the pain no matter what. It doesn't matter if you are a muscle man or what. You can still be affected of it with diabetes on other hands. Diabetes doesn't exactly come recognize it because you are a plus size person. It can come to each and any of us whether we are plus size or thin or muscle man or otherwise of body type. And that's the only difficult thing. 
whether you think different or what. You otherwise. And there's not really much I can do about that. But y'all wanted the stats? And here are the stats. Like I say, obesity leads to heart can uh it leads to uh heart disease, leads to cancer, leads to stroke, leads to diabetes. And those are just a few. And those are just a few. And I talked about in my last video, yes, there are reasons why you might be uh, obese. There might be reasons why you might be overweight. But there's always something you can do about it. That's the main thing. There's always something you can do about it. So if you don't do anything about it or you just sit there and make excuses or you defend it, then that's where I'm going to come after you. That's where I'm going to be like, okay, what's, why are you making excuses and not aiming towards being healthy? And like I said, the statistics are there, the numbers are there, the doctors are telling you, it's like everybody knows, and it's like I don't see where the confusion is. And if you are confused, make it make sense to me because I don't understand. Now I'm confused. I don't understand how people just are like, oh, being unhealthy is something that I didn't know. It's just something that didn't exist to me or something that I guess like, oh, I'm fat, I'm overweight, but I guess I don't care. Or I guess it doesn't really matter. Or I guess it it's okay because my body's beautiful. And it's like, okay, even if you are beautiful, you're beautiful and unhealthy. So, it's... And when did you become a doctor? On other hand, I think that whatever you're saying is otherwise than just all those diseases, you name it. We go back to diabetes. Diabetes is something that comes rarely sometimes for those people who are literally eating a lot of sugar all the time, whether what kind of weight you have. All these medical things happening, of course, everywhere, no matter what. I mean, for God's sake, it could be that you can eat candy all the time, whether you are in, in, in a size, no matter what. I mean, that's normal for each and any of us. But my recognition in your fucking video is that you trying to tell people that you, on the other hand, telling everybody to look beautiful. I mean, for God's sake. I don't know what, what the hell is wrong with you, pal. And since then... Why did you ever come up by telling about how women should look like? I mean, there is nothing wrong if there is a lot of plus size women. There is a lot of people who actually are beautiful. You have nothing with them to do. They decide if they want to go down, it's up to them. Or keep their body as they are. It's better. What is different from men and women? Should men always be plus size and still be the humble one while women should be a disaster? What kind of fool are you? I mean, sometimes I'm wondering, what the hell is wrong with the society? It's more like we're taking everything, whatever the Bible's saying, how women should look like, because that was the first um, destruction in the past. But at least we could be admired when it comes to the royal who literally uh, gave a thumb up to plus size women, of course. They were at least the one who actually embraced each and anyone who actually were big enough. But that doesn't mean they were unhealthy. There were some of them who actually lived a very healthy life. Of course. I mean, the only time you can scrap when it comes to somebody who literally may be eating McDonald's every day. But that doesn't mean McDonald's cause the problem all the time. You have to move your body all the time. It doesn't matter how much you exercise. You decide how much you want to exercise. And you don't have to exercise to be a bodybuilder all the time to just have a healthy life no it's about what you're eating 
and what you're putting on your mouth for telling exactly if the deceased will come. But not because you're obese making you sick. That's a ridiculous thing, pal. I don't know exactly where you have got that from. Now I have only one clip to react to before I walking away cause there is something who still disturb me when it comes to one size I still recognize as I hate so much after what they actually discuss about. Even if they were target both men and women but what made me more disgusting was when someone literally told about women. More like they getting more disgusting of how women should look like or those women who actually are fat and so on. I mean again, what does have this beauty with women to do? I mean of course. I understand when it comes to us men, but we should actually recognize this kind of problematic size of men who had their, uh, their society in their hands. Now I don't say all men had it, but those men who had it were the one who caused the problem from the beginning. I mean, for example, go back to the 40s when all those rich men and senators were just invited to a party just because we're going to celebrate something and then going behind their wives and uh, doing some, well what could I say, everything. We were even inviting singers who actually were slim in the past. All those pinup girls who literally were, how should I say, dressing well and so on, dancing around all those men and those men get triggering and feeling in love or whatever. And otherwise, there were also creepy men who literally could feel like, oh yeah, now I get horny, oh, I want to jerk off. That's the thing. All those shit, all those men were doing in the past. Okay. Even if we in the society have maybe managed to identify all those creepy things as a wrong thing. That's a thing we could actually celebrate for those people who manage to think what is right and wrong. But there is still a problem because of many men who deny this kind of thing and can still think that all this shit should actually be built by what the Bible was saying or what the organization saying. For example, when it comes to all those commercial clauses, there will always be about slim people have this, slim people have that, but there were no uh, plus size women at all. I mean, it doesn't matter if that person is shabby or plus size as I name it, or maybe a mixed part. You could be chubby and muscle in muscle donor in same time. And yeah, again, I mean it doesn't matter what kind of body type you are, so long you're happy, you should actually be happy with your body size. Without you criticizing other people for looking different. But as again, there is a normal thing we actually have happening so long, yet some people literally have the nerve to justify what exactly seems to be right and wrong. But again, whatever kind of scientists literally saying this is a fact. Fine, that depending what kind of fact is. But sometimes there is fictions for sometimes. Not all the things should be a fact. 
What we had been learned since we were babies was to walk, exercise and all of it. Whether what kind of body type you have you can still manage to live. And don't say otherwise just because someone's saying. Otherwise what you may be here, what you want to hear, whatever interests you. And when it comes to this red pill mother, uh, those, those red pill daddy fuckers, well, well, some kind of shitheads who literally have no idea what the real society is. I mean, I don't know who's Oregon actually matching, but sometimes I can get it that it comes from those incels first. But before the incels were the true red pill guys, there were other red pills before them as well. For example, those, how shall I say, those knuckleheads of popular people who literally getting every girl as they want. And yet, they can't accept anyone except for what they are interesting on. They want slim people. That's exactly what they have in their minds. So wrong. And yet they're going to insult them just because, oh yes, I have a, a body part. I can't accept someone being my size. I want somebody specific like pinups. Only thin people. So both normal people and muscle donors and chubby people and plus size people are not welcome. What about athletes and normal? Well, athletes will also be pushed away from those maniacs because they don't accepting other women than just thin people. And that's the big problem in the society because they get wrong message all the time. We should embrace our bodies no matter what. Even if we have to be careful whatever we put in our mouth. And always remember to exercise no matter how much we're doing it. But so long we hold our body in shape. Now I don't say shape in a size. But in shape of what we're doing. Plus size or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is, so long you take a breath outside. That's enough. Now, we're going to make a reaction to one of the clips I have com coming across. Give me a minute and you will see it. The deal? Yeah, yeah weight watches. I mean, we Isn't are just watching weird, his like, weight. There's plus size models, right? And they're doing that now. Oh. Like Nike and their Nike store oh. has like a big mannequin, like a fat mannequin. Joe. But they don't. They don't have plus size models for men. Joe, there well, is nothing that enrages me more than fat models. <laughs> There is nothing that enrages me more than fat fucking Why? Okay, let me just say something. As a comic, we want attention. Mm -hmm. We don't feel like we deserve it. So we make you laugh. So there's an even exchange. I get my attention. You get some joy. Yeah, okay? Right. An actor, they want attention. They're not willing to write the script, but they'll memorize some lines. They'll do a little bit of effort to get the attention. A regular model, at least she's willing to lose weight. So that she can be looked at. But these fat bitches are just like, look at me. You still I deserve word, to be looked at. Stop using the word look bitches this. in 2019. Look at that. What the fuck? That's, that's, uh, that's the plus size model mannequin. This is the, 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 only, the only That doesn't thing, enrage you guys? The, the only thing I don't like about that. That doesn't enrage you no. that they're like, just stare at me. I'm going to eat bread all day. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you should stare at me. The only thing that bothers me about that is that's how the come. And again... All those people who comment about shit again when it comes to someone is somebody's weight. Just because she is a female, made her own choice. Or those people who literally wanted to just do something. Of course we should be recognized with kindness, not shit. This was an insult you gave them now.
I don't know exactly what is wrong with all those guys for sitting there and just making a joke about women. I mean, the world is toxic as it is. It have never been otherwise than just toxic. I mean, again, some of those guys should actually have recognized when it comes to their parents. How was they? How were their reaction when all those pops literally saying, well, you should go down because you should be beautiful, blah, 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 and all of this. I don't have any beautiful woman anymore. I claim it. But honey, I try to do my best. I can't always do what you think it is. Come on, all those other guys have the uh, beautiful women all there. I don't feel like I am loved anymore. Kind of thing. I mean, isn't that enough? That we have a lot of nincompoops in the past who literally thinking about all those shit all the time, yet they had no idea how each and anyone could actually live with that kind of parasite of man who had no idea that sometimes not everybody can actually build up to it and yet be forced to it. I mean, again, is this because of that fucking religion or literally saying how you should look like into your own husband? Fuck you, all of you. You have no idea what exactly the society is. Society, it is. Society is the disaster. You should actually be more careful what you are ever saying. Stop insulting women just because they are different. That. What the fuck? That's that's uh that's the plus size model mannequin. This is the, 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 only, the only that doesn't thing, enrage you guys. The, the only thing I don't like about that doesn't that. enrage you no. that they're like just stare at me. I'm gonna eat bread all day. <laughs> no, but only, you should stare at me. The only thing that bothers me about that is that's out of context because that's an oversized mannequin. In workout clothes, right. So right? Is she going to lose the weight? Yeah, she's trying to lose you weight. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's trying, trying to better to, herself. Okay, so I need it in some context. If, it's, yeah. if this is workout gear Bless for him. overweight women who want to go lose weight, cool. Right. Other than that, why are you wearing workout gear? Because she's trying to lose weight. That's the only reason you'd be wearing it. She, she'd be even bigger if she didn't work out. She like okay. how? I mean, again, again, again with that. Oh yeah, she came to the uh, gym to lose weight. That's why she had this fitness clothes or whatever you're pointing on. No. She came there because she wanted to exercise. And whether there is women who want to get down in their weight or what. Or just came there to get their power on other hands. When I say power, I mean strength. Strength. Yes. And that's exactly what you should have in your mind and not this kind of sexist thing you think you really think that some women literally pushing into it just because someone going to justify about someone's weight and all this look for just your imagination. You should actually be open and thinking about twice. Where, what exactly are she doing there? She just exercised, that's all. You should never doing something like that as you're saying. Meaning, for example, stop judging any women who actually are just there to train. And stop calling them cows just because they are training. First of all, all women should be proud of how they look and how they are. We should never make a difficult thing for all women just because they decide how they want to be. I mean, I say this. I'd rather be a beast than being a beauty. Or better, I'd rather be a beast than being handsome. And that's exactly what I am. I'm a beast. I like to run in the, in the crowd. I like to tackle people in the football field, 
no matter what, in the Super Bowl for God's sake. I even making it myself. I don't have to look beautiful or handsome just because someone saying that I should look handsome and in the same time be in the football field. No. Because in Detroit we didn't think like that. But yeah, you on the hands, the city folks who literally can care less about how other people look like. And yet you have the stomach to just fuck around by telling how sh all those people should look like, how should I say, a model. For God's sake, shut the fuck up. All you're doing is just shouting how a woman should look like. And yet you have no idea how it is in the society. For real. I mean, if you were if that was your own mother, what would you say in this case? Think twice before you're saying it to another woman who just trying to do her best. On other hands, she is still beautiful whether she is in a gym. You have nothing with that to do exactly. Nothing. You should shut the hell up. And let her do her thing. Overweight women who want to go lose weight, cool. Right. Other than that, why are you wearing workout gear? Because she's trying to lose weight. That's the only reason you'd be wearing it. She, she'd be even bigger if she didn't work out. She Like okay. Khaled. Imagine if Khaled didn't. <laughs> DJ Khaled needs to eat a salad. Is that what they're saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep laughing about women who actually fight for survive this life of whatever some people have come up in the history up to now. You, you have no shame at all. Not at all. I don't know exactly what exactly is so excise. Well, I don't know exactly. But that's the clip of J.R.E. Clips. Yes. And that's make me outraged all the time when they're talking about somebody being different and the other one. Just because some of you may be looking handsome doesn't make you more sexier than a big, big plus man, maybe, who literally doing exactly what you are doing. Who maybe have much more muscle power than other one people in the world. And don't think that those people of plus size can't do exactly what you uh, handsome tin men can do. I don't know exactly what exactly you have got anything. But I remember one thing of course as my parents once said. So long you have the power you can do anything. True, okay. I may get shit from my own relatives who thought that I was a big shitty dumbass who had no weight at all. It was in the past. When I became bigger, they started to insult me because of my size. But I hold myself because no matter what kind of size you have, well, okay, I can say one thing. I'm chubby. I'm chubby and have muscles, of course. So yeah, and I have met a lot of women out there who are much more stronger than me and have proven me that they are strong enough. So why are you still insulting women just because they are different from men? I don't know what exactly you're pointing on anymore because there is nothing to pointing anymore because many women have proven all the time that they can handle everything Yet you have the stomach to justify a woman without any knowledge about her own bravery and that she can't handle it what any man can. Let me give you at least something as I'm going to read now. Uh, in this issue of the known huge uh, discuss the 
presence of toxic masculinity in their lives. Women all have stories that they have felt unsafe and object fired by men. For young women, it is toxic living in a world their men feel they are able to stare, judge, and make advances. United, you, wait, you, uninvited. Um, this behavior creates an environment that women feel unsafe to walk in their own neighborhood. The young women of no, uh, known were asked about times that they felt the presence of toxic masculinity directly and were asked for share an experience when they felt unwanted sexual attention from men. And again, that's something as what it seems to be normal, but it is really toxic. And as we know, there have been some people who literally have feel uncomfortable when it comes to all those people who literally seems to be different from other women. For example, those who are thin. How do they feel on other hands? Well, I can give you for example. Once a freshman year, I was standing on a desk while making a model, model rollout costume for my psychic class. A male classmate uh, of mine put the meter stick on my skirt and tried to lift it up in front of the entire class to be sexualized so openly and publicly was not only horrifying as a 14 years old, but I felt utterly objectified. That's another thing as I remember happening even in my classroom as well. Of course I was pissed off, I wanted to punch that guy and that was something I remember from my past. But I couldn't do anything. Of course the teachers were there of course, they defended of course the, the victim. Yes. But that didn't stop me from getting to that guy at all. What stopped me was because the guy's parent, on the other hand, was there already. So I couldn't do anything. Now I don't talk about whatever articles I read. But I remember in the past, in my youth, how it was in the past who made me so outraged that I wanted to punch this guy. I wanted to give him a taste of justice. Yes, that's exactly what I had. So yes, I had anything inside myself who pumping up all the time. Now I just want to fight someone, exactly. I couldn't stop thinking alone about this kind of thing. It would be another thing if the, if I haven't know anything I would maybe be silenced. But it was in front of the class who made me so angry. Like I would actually sexualize it by a person no matter what kind of size that person is. For God's sake I should actually use my heart in this case. When it comes to that person, if I want to meet her, shake her hands, see her as an equal person, and asking her out. And if she denies, okay, no problem. I have asked a lot of women whether way, what kind of size each and any of them is or are. I have always feel proud to ask somebody out, no matter what. Maybe I can give you another kind of um, article I can read, but I ain't saying names. For example, my breast started develop, uh, 
Delaruping at a young age, so by the time I was in 8th grade, I was already wearing a C cup. I remember in class, my friend at the time would jokingly touch them. It was both girls and boys. It affected me a lot because I used to try my absolute best to cover them but I learned to love my body and that's really great in my case as I say you should love your body do not deny it because that was exactly the same thing as I say every time we broke up this kind of toxic kind of idea it could be a really bad thing in our lives. Should we continue with all of this kind of insult? No, of course not. We should not. We should embrace it. Not all of this thing that you should look handsome. An athlete man who should look so handsome. Whether you are an athlete or a muscle man. Or a woman who should be thin or normal, whatever kind of shit he wants. And starting to adding, well, you should have bigger breasts because it looks so great. Or big ass because it looks so great. No, of course not. Here's the thing as I want to pointing when it comes to toxic masculinity. They have no idea what they're talking about, whether they are MGTOW whether they are red pill or whatever. All of this is just piece of shit of whatever each and any of them say because they have no idea how women works. How many times should women keep showing that they can until men can for once accept that women can do something instead for get insult by Few men who literally have no idea how we all in the society are suffering because of the ideas. Again, shut the fuck up and understand that we are all fighting for justice, equity, and equality. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. We should never insult somebody just because we are different when it comes to genders. I wonder how did the intersex gender in this case lived up? For them, I don't know exactly yet. But I'm going to tell it to the next video. Not except I can't make a promise. What I'm actually all triggered now is how all this masculinity have hurt us now so I know exactly what it feels I hate to insult people I have never insult people whether they are women or men or intersex genders or what kind of gender pronouncement exists out there but I'm so triggered when it comes to those bullies who literally saying a lot we have no idea that both men and women are actually equal in their body standard. And stop saying men are always superior than women when it comes to the muscle parts. No. All of this is because of this fucking drug we're using to become bigger. Even women can add it themselves too. So there is nothing different when it comes to it. What problem is? Because of all those men in the past who have the control over women in the past because of whatever they actually decided how the society should work. Under this fucking religion. Mainstream religion, what I'm saying. I'm agnostic. I don't care whatever the Bible or whatever kind of book standing and saying how women should look like. All of this is just shit. And when it comes to the scientists who literally could saying, yeah, all women were just sitting and cooking food and taking care of children while men were going and hunting. 
all of this is wrong because all those women who literally were home and were taking care of kids, that was the truth. But just saying that they were only doing that, that's wrong. I don't know who exactly makes it that kind of history exactly, but I hope in the future that someone would, will reveal that kind of shit so we all can justify exactly how wrong anything was. How can rest of the animal population have this kind of thing when humans are the only one who seems to be different from some others? That's something you can ask yourself. Because there is a lot of women who can handle everything and have proven all the time. Yet there is always someone who will push them down just because they don't want to. I mean, okay, we change it a lot. And I can say one thing more. I can embrace feminists even if I'm not a feminist. I embrace them, of course, because they're fighting for equality. Whatever this kind of thing about fourth way, I don't know exactly. But at least one, two, and three have proven at least that each and any of them have fight for equality. And when it comes to the fourth, of course, many of them fight for equality even if they have a one countable size who may be all radical but we could still accept them because they're trying to go to the source so stop saying a lot of things and stop insult women that's all I can say anyway Thank you for listening to my channel uh, in this clip. If you like the video, please press the, bu the like button. And if you don't like it, press on the press on the dislike button. And I'm sorry if I can't talk. I'm so angry today. I don't know exactly what I can do anymore. Except to be outraged over what exactly I have to see. I mean, this is not the first, of course. I have heard that since back in the days when I was younger. And I am so outraged now. But that, that's not why I created uh, this size. Because... The reason to why I do that is because sometimes we should actually come out for once to prove there is few males who disagree with all those toxic males out there who just want to have back this 1940 that every man have control over their women. Isn't that wrong? Yes, it said. For God's sake. This is the fucking shit we are all living in. We should actually strike it. For God's sake. Anyway, that's all I have to you. Have a nice day. And as you know, I do my best. Have a nice day.